Imagine you're deep inside Kalao Cave in the northern Philippines. The only light is your headlamp, illuminating ancient rock formations. Archaeologists work quietly, brushing away centuries of earth. Suddenly, a small fossilized footbone emerges from the dirt. The team gathers knowing this could change everything. Every fossil is a message from the past, a time capsule waiting to be read. This tiny bone along with a few teeth and fragments would ignite a scientific firestorm. It would challenge what we thought we knew about the first people in Southeast Asia. The discovery connects the Philippines to a mysterious, long extinct group of ancient humans. It proves our species journey was far more complex than imagined. The universe isn't just out among the stars, it's buried deep within the earth waiting for us to uncover it. Each grain of dirt sifted is a step back in time. Finding a single human bone here is like finding a grain of sand on a vast beach. It's a testament to patience, science, and our need to understand where we come from. Who are we? This bone offers a clue. The work is slow but every fragment is documented. These scientists are time travelers, peeling back layers of history. They're searching for the ghosts of our human family tree. This discovery would connect the people of the Philippines to a new chapter in human evolution. It would show that the story of humanity is full of surprises. The cave's silence is broken only by the quiet excitement of discovery. The past is speaking, if we know how to listen. The story of our origins is written in stone, waiting to be read, and sometimes the biggest answers come from the smallest bones. For years, Taban Man was considered the first Filipino, dating back 47,000 years. But the bones from Kalao Cave changed everything. Using uranium series dating, scientists found these bones were at least 67,000 years old, 20,000 years older than Taban Man. A new species was named, Homo luzonensis. This wasn't just a new record, it was a rewrite of history. The bones were small, with a strange mix of ancient and modern features. Some parts resembled modern humans, others looked like much older ancestors. How did such a primitive human reach an island like Luzon? Luzon was never connected to the mainland so these early humans must have crossed the sea. This suggests ancient humans were seafarers long before we thought possible. The discovery of Homo luzonensis revealed that human evolution was a tangled tree, not a straight line. While Neanderthals lived in Europe and Homo sapiens emerged in Africa, another unique human thrived in the Philippines. The islands became a laboratory for human evolution. The story of the Philippines is not just about arrival, it's about innovation and survival. This find made the Philippines central to understanding our deep past. The timeline of human migration in Asia had to be rewritten. The discovery proved that Southeast Asia was a crossroads, not a dead end. The first Filipinos were pioneers, explorers, and survivors. Their story is now a vital part of the human journey. The bones from Kalao Cave opened a new chapter in our shared history. Fast forward to modern science, where DNA unlocks ancient secrets. In Siberia a tiny finger bone revealed a new kind of human, the Denisovans. Their DNA didn't match modern humans or Neanderthals. For a while Denisovans seemed like a Siberian mystery. But then, scientists found Denisovan DNA in living people, especially in the Philippines. Among the Ida Magbukan and other Negrito groups, Denisovan ancestry is the highest in the world, up to 5%. This was a stunning revelation. The story of the Denisovans wasn't just Siberian, it was Southeast Asian. Our ancestors met and mixed with Denisovans leaving a genetic echo in modern Filipinos. The bones in Kalao Cave showed ancient humans lived here. The DNA in living Filipinos tells us who some of them were. When modern humans arrived, the islands weren't empty. Denisovans or their relatives were already there. They didn't vanish. They became part of the Filipino genetic story. The highest Denisovan DNA is not in Siberia but in the Philippines. This discovery rewrote the map of ancient human migration. The ghost in our genes had a name, and its heartland was here. The Philippines became a central stage for human evolution. The Denisovan legacy lives on in the DNA of today's Filipinos. Ancient encounters shaped the people of these islands. The story of the Philippines is a story of connection, mixture, and survival. Our genes remember what history forgot, the past is alive within us. The surprises didn't end with Denisovan DNA. Scientists found a second distinct pulse of Denisovan ancestry in the Ada people. This means their ancestors interbred with Denisovans at least twice, or with two different Denisovan groups. Denisovans weren't a single group, they were diverse, spread across Asia. Ancient Southeast Asia was a melting pot of human species. Imagine Homo sapiens, Homo luzonensis, and multiple Denisovan groups all sharing these islands. 
The Philippines, once seen as remote, was actually a central hub of human evolution. The Ada people's DNA is a genetic time capsule, preserving memories of ancient encounters. Their story is one of resilience, adaptation, and mixture. The Philippines was not just a stopover, it was a place where human identity was forged. Our DNA tells a story that bones alone cannot. Filipino DNA connects not just to Denisovans, but to people thousands of kilometers away. There are deep genetic links to indigenous Australians and Papuans. 50,000 years ago, sea levels were lower, but the Philippines, New Guinea, and Australia were still islands. To reach them, ancient humans had to cross the sea. These were the world's first great maritime explorers. The Philippines was a crucial stepping stone, a gateway to the Pacific. Some groups stayed, others journeyed on to New Guinea and Australia. Later Austronesian farmers from Taiwan arrived, adding another layer to the genetic mix. The Philippines became a crossroads where ancient island hoppers met new arrivals. Each migration left its mark in the DNA of today's Filipinos. The story of the Philippines is one of epic journeys and constant mixing. The islands are a living record of human exploration. The genetic trail leads back to the first great seafarers. The Philippines stands at the heart of this ancient odyssey. The old story of human migration was simple out of Africa, across continents, end of story. But discoveries in the Philippines shattered that simplicity. Homo luzonensis and Denisovan DNA show that Southeast Asia was a hotbed of human evolution. Multiple human species coexisted, competed, and interbred here for tens of thousands of years. The march of progress is now a tangled web of interactions. Our genus Homo was incredibly diverse far beyond just sapiens and Neanderthals. These ancient humans were explorers not just survivors, the Denisovan DNA story proves we didn't live in isolation. We are the product of ancient encounters and mixtures. The Philippines is at the forefront of this new understanding. Old textbooks are being rewritten. The story of human evolution is more complex and more fascinating than we ever imagined. The islands are not the end of the line but the center of the story. The discoveries here force us to rethink what it means to be human. The past is far richer than we thought. The new map of human migration is a tangled network, not a straight line. Island Southeast Asia was a major hub, not a remote outpost. The Philippines with its thousands of islands became an evolutionary laboratory. Each island could foster a unique human population. This is how species like Homo luzonensis emerged. Denisovans mastered this island world, spreading across the region. When modern humans arrived, they entered a world already shaped by Denisovans. Each migration wave left its mark on the genetic tapestry. The Philippines holds the world's highest Denisovan DNA. The map of migration is dynamic, waves of movement, interaction and change. The islands are a living record of these ancient journeys. The story is not static, it's alive in the people today. The Philippines is one of the most important chapters in our shared human story. The journey out of Africa was just the beginning. The real adventure happened here. Why the Philippines? Geography is key. As an archipelago, its islands created pockets of isolation, perfect for unique species to evolve. The tropical environment preserved ancient lineages, unlike the ice ages of the north. The Philippines became a library of human history, with few pages lost. Multiple migrations made it one of the world's most genetically diverse places. Here you find ancestry from the first modern humans, the highest Denisovan DNA, and the Austronesian expansion. The DNA of Filipinos is a living museum of migration. Studying genetics here is like using a time machine. The Philippines is now at the center of human origins research. Scientists worldwide are drawn to these islands, searching for more clues. The answers to our biggest questions may lie in the caves and genes of the Philippines. This archipelago is a key to unlocking the mysteries of our past. The story of ancient DNA in the Philippines is more than science, it's about who we are. Our family tree is a tangled beautiful bush, not a simple ladder. The ghosts of Neanderthals and Denisovans live on in our DNA. For Filipinos, these discoveries reveal a deeper, richer heritage. They connect the islands to the first Pacific explorers and mysterious ancient humans. The Philippines is at the heart of the human story in Asia. Ultimately, this is a story that unites us all. We are all mixtures, all migrants, all connected by invisible threads. The universe within our cells is as vast as the cosmos above. Discoveries in places like Kalao Cave are just the beginning. There are still secrets to uncover about our planet and ourselves. The quest for knowledge, whether through telescopes or DNA, is the greatest adventure.
it's the journey to know ourselves.